book in our took and surrounds, home of the spirit quartz, sizable spirit quartz crystal. Now what we typically have from this deposit, and let's have a look at the matrix, is, ah, uh, oh, there we go, you have a core quartz crystal which has been surrounded by smaller quartz crystals. Then color would, would be determined by what happens on the, usually the outside edges of the termination. And here you'll see an intense dark purple, and that gets propagated right through. On this particular section, I note as, as uh, uh, depths of mining and mining carries on, there are slight variances and slight similarities and, and slight uh, assimilarities between various sections. This section, for instance, had some yellowishness inside it. Now, often in these uh, uh, spirit quartzes from this section and surrounds, we'd find little pyrite cubes. So quite possibly that would have been a, a pyrite which lost its sulfur in solution. And so maybe a little bit of citrine, or of course, uh, uh, more more likely the girthite come hematite uh, oxidized staining in the, in the mineral itself. Uh, looking from the top down, always this amazing, almost a starburst effect where you see splotches of color, Mother Nature and her artists doing their thing. Uh, from a display point of view, I think this one would stand flat on a turntable, you'd have this effect. Minor contact on, on some of these smaller crystals on the sides, but pretty, pretty nice piece. Um, little bit of minor contact there, the rest is indentation of where crystals sat before. I don't know if those are keys, uh, esoterically. Also, sometimes I find little, uh, almost barnacle quartz dusting. I don't see any over here. All the way from South Africa, home of the spirit quartz. Book and I took South Africa.